Hi, so I've had a couple of questions that people have asked me how to interpret the update mask of the change data capture. So I'm going to do a video on this and clarify how to interpret that. Uh, and the way I, I'm going to do that is uh, demonstrating a couple of inserts and updates. So I created a generic table called generic table here with 10 columns. I named it column 1, column 2, all the way up to 10. And uh, I've, I've enabled the change data capture on it by capturing all 10 of the columns. And what I'm going to do is do a simple insert and then I'm going to do an update. And what I'm doing is I'm updating every other row, uh, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, but also uh, updating the last row so it's not completely every other row. Um, and when I did that, you, you'll notice my first statement here is the update, the operation to the update. Uh, I, I mean uh, the insert. So this is the insert here. And then this is the update before. And this is the update after. So you'll notice I do have every other row here changed. Um, and then 9 and 10 is changed. So how do I interpret this bit mask or this uh, update mask? So the way to do that is, uh, the easiest way is actually to change it to binary. So if I bring up the Windows calculator, and you could do that by setting it to a programmer calculator. And what that does is that'll give you the uh, hex and binary. So this is in hex, the update mask is in hex. So when I type in 355 and I switch it over to binary, you'll notice it's 101010, basically every other zero, and then a 11. You'll, hit, you'll notice there's actually 10 digits here. So uh, the, the ones are what changed. And the way to interpret that is, it's a little bit confusing because when, when you read the table here, it's from left to right, so column 1 is the leftmost all the way up to col column 10 which is the rightmost column well it's, re it's reversed in the bitmap so this you have to read from right to left and not left to right so that's basically how you interpret the bit mask and you'll notice if I punch in uh, 3FF all of the bits are set uh, in each bit position um, because it's an insert. It's only the updates where it actually reports the changes in the bit mask or, or the uh, changes in the positions. Um, so that's really how you interpret which columns have changed. Now it's a little bit easier for me in my demo because I actually named the columns 0 through 10. Uh, so what I did was I wrote a uh, store procedure that does that. Uh, you pass in the table and then the actual hex and when you run it it'll show you the columns that actually changed so um, but uh, you know that's that's really how you interpret the bit mask. Uh, just remember that uh, you know visually when you create a table it's from left to right but the bit mask itself is right to left. Um, all right, uh, that's uh, really all I wanted to go through because I've had a lot of questions on how exactly do I interpret that. Um, and in my store procedure, the it, it's one thing to actually interpret it, but it's actually another to actually detect what the changes are. Um, so the way to do that is actually uh, querying the sys columns uh, using the column property and the column ID to get the ordinal position and then just shifting the bits by doing a uh, bitwise or I, I mean a bitwise and to see which positions change so this is how I actually wrote this store procedure here um, so that's that's uh, some tips as to how to interpret the bit mask and actually how to get actionable information out of it and actually uh, you know do whatever scripting whatever logic you need for that uh, based on what what column changed so all right uh, thank you for watching